Hello everybody, the Warrior Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Last time we, again, mostly focused on doing side quests before moving on towards like the main adventure and stuff. And there is, like, I do want to see how many other hard pieces and stuff that I can get before I actually move on. So, we do have to actually do something else, like do another, like second part of this minigame that we did the first one in, but since we have this higher jump ability, we should be able to get this uh, done no problem at all. So we need to go back to the desert, this part of the oasis. And let us head in here. And I also forgot to get an echo in this place. The you can echo this bed. Let's do soft bed echo. Okay, so let's do your mini game again. Huh? Or actually, didn't mean to do that. The huh? vibrant seeds. We have we haven't completed this yet. Uh. Oh. I have to collect 50 of these. I've, I need to focus here. Okay. Ow. The good thing I can jump so high. Oh no! Oh, I got 58 out of 60. Ah, oh, come on! Crap! The golden fan. Got five tough bingos. Oh. Some ultimate seeds, even. So I guess you don't have to do all sixty uh. of them. Yeah. Oh. Right, keep doing that one oh. instead of the top one. <laughs> oh. Now we can do ultimate seeds, which this one will give us a heart piece. So I want to try this. This might take me a couple tries. And we also have to watch out for big bombs, too. Yeah, these- just 70s of these. This might take a while. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. How? Is there some like fast running that you're supposed to do? Oh crap! You get a dancing outfit. Tough Magos! Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this whole thing again. But we'll see if I even can do it now. Okay, well I did try to get that heartbeat, and I guess you can. So I do know one, where one heartbeat you can actually get is you need to go over next to where uh, the Gerudo Town is. And next, you need to go down this way. I guess for that one minigame, you do need a like a faster like spin ability. You know, somewhere in here, here, you need to get rid of these uh, pieces of sand. I'm 
trying to look for. Yeah, we can do this with a tornado. Yep, here it is. This is a heart piece. This actually gives us another heart container. It's pretty awesome. So now I need to find where another what is that we can get. Okay, next we go back to the town again. And we need to go this way. I guess we have another side quest that we can do, but I want to get the RPs first, but I guess we can talk to this person now. So, I'm happy to see you. Is your journey going well? Since you've left, I've been hard at work. I worked as captain of your guard. Of the guard. Just the other day, Chief Sarah opened or tight security on the treasury, which I've improvised. I placed some of my best and most trusted soldiers as guards there. But I feel like they, I can test things to see how well they'll, they'll do. So, Zella, do you want to test out the security I've, I've put into place? If you can seal the contents of the treasure chest in the deepest area of the treasury, you win. What do you think? Oh, I, I don't want to do that yet. I want to do the... This heart piece next. So let's make some... That's here. And... Oh, come on! Are you serious? Oh, great! You know, I think if you... Do this... Come on! It should sometime... You have to follow it, and then it sometimes will climb up, maybe. Or not. I really don't know how you can actually get up there, but I think I can try again by getting more beds. What the heck? Why? Ugh. Maybe if I do it this way. If you jump up here. I made it up! Awesome! Next we need to... Get up this way. And now we can get in this, uh, place here. Technically you're supposed to have something else that can make climbing up a bit easier. But I just decided to do this now. Come down so I can jump on you. And next we need to blow these guys up, these blocks. Uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. Basically, you need to do this a few times. And... Uh, are you serious? Wait, what the heck? How... Okay, so I think you do need to go ahead and... Uh, break those blocks. And now, if we jump up here and... And this is how we get up to the heart piece. Ta-da! 
You just have to jump two steps down, steps down, and then this will make it so you actually get to get up. But I'm not exactly sure now how you leave. Uh. Okay, I think you can actually just fast travel, travel out of this. Okay, so we need to go over here next. Then we need to go over here and go through this uh, lake, the river, and I think and we need to go into the side this cave. And we have some enemies in here that we don't need to worry about. And okay, I do want to switch to what. Weapon type enemy. Okay, let's go ahead and fight these guys. These blob guys. Of course, they fell underwater. But this uh, freaking ball and chain echo can still get him. Now, I want to just pass through this guy. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to fight these enemies. Uh, come on. Now I'm just gonna go to my Ignizol that I do have so I can light all the torches. Is it a specific order? Uh, I really don't know what the specific order is, but I'll have to figure it out. Uh, or you can- no, you can also use the water blocks to get rid of the fire. Yeah, that's how you open the doors. And we go up here. Ow. And here we go. Next heart piece. Oh, off to where the next one is. Okay, next the heart next heart piece is out around here. So we need to fast travel to this place around close to where the Zora Cove is. I'm just getting all these extra heart pieces just so I have a lot more health. That I can work with so I'm not dying all the time. Yeah, there is this here, and we do want to place a bomb fish there, and we can move this down. And it will explode! There we can go. We can grab the heart piece. Heart piece gun! Alright, so now on to the next one. Okay, next up we go to this place next to where that... Place where the Jabu Jabu lives. And we're gonna want to create a few... Yeah, the, the heart piece is right there. So we can create a few water blocks and we can swim up. And there we go! We got it! Okay, so, so I, I think we got a, an extra heart container. Ooh, so now we have completed a full row of heart pieces already. So now I want to find the next one. The next one we want to go over to the this plate town, the... River Zora Village. And next we want to go this way. 
Oh, wait, uh... Crap, I think... Yeah, I think I'll do these side quests later, since I'm focused more on getting the... Heart pieces. When I end up at a dead end where I can't even collect any more heart pieces, then I will... Uh, go ahead and... Do some more side quests. I think if we do here... Oh, come on. Put them here and we go up this way. And um, yep, you already see the harpies. Swim all the way up here. These bar blocks are really useful for getting to higher places. <laughs> and already, next harpies. Gotta find where the next one is. Okay, next up is in the, this forest-like area of the next harpy, so we need to fast travel over here. Okay, now we go this way. And wait, uh, yeah, up here is where the heart piece is, so we can just literally grab it. It's literally one of the easiest power pieces to you can actually get. So on to the next one. The next heart piece is around here, so we we can fast travel to this one, this waypoint. Drop down here, and we're gonna have to use our beds, and of course, or, you know what? You can, I think you can even just still use the water blocks here. Oh, come on! Oh, great, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, going to have to take out these guys. Oh, come on! At least I can now be able to use the water blocks here so we can don't have to worry about them. Okay, right before the water blocks broke too. And here we got the next heart piece. That was kind of annoying. Okay, next heart piece is around here, so we need to fast travel to this waypoint. Now we need to go over here. And okay, so let's go ahead and... I guess create a couple more. And now we need to make a few beds. And then we can pick up this rock, this big boulder, and this is how we move the boulder out of the way is by making these beds and you can bring it up here. And whoops, I guess I have to get back up here now. And now we can grab the heart piece. And we get yet another heart container. So I'm really glad we're, I'm doing this, so it was, I, I gotta find the next one. Okay, next up we need to go over here. And you see there's like a random suspicious like patch of like that doesn't have any grass there? Yeah, we're gonna need to use the digging guy wherever he is uh yeah this carbon deal we need to place him here 
Or not? Uh, which enemy is it? Uh... Yeah, hold no. He digs a hole and then we head down here. It took a while to actually find him. But yep, here is the heart piece! Okay, now, next one. Okay, next heart piece is over here. So we, I guess the closest that we can fast, fast travel to is over to this war, war point. And yeah, let's go up this way. Like I said, I'm really happy about all of the heart pieces I'm getting. But I really hate these annoying birds, though, that try to attack you. Oh, come on, please! Okay, now we can go grab the, uh, mole guy again. Come on, where is he? There you go. Place him here, and now this is another seeker hole that you can go down with another harpy. Okay, now on to the next one. Okay, I guess I've hit a bit of a dead end until I get uh, another accessory that will let me be able to do another that one minigame that I charged in the beginning of the video, but I guess for right now we can get. Head back to the Gerudo town and do that quest that, uh... The daughter of the Gerudo chief was about to give us. We can go over here... And... Yes, I can try out your security quest! That's the spirit! The treasury is on the second floor of the palace on the west side. There are so there's a soldier in the at the entry. Let's see what you made of, Zelda. The Doma's challenge. So we go over here. Um, wait. Okay, so I think we just literally make beds to go up here. Okay, yeah, I need to start over on that. Okay, now we jump up here and go inside this place. Okay, so we also basically have to do this other, like, uh, hiding from the guards again. To just make some blocks boxes here. Here we go up this way. Oh boy, um how uh okay. How are you supposed to do this? I believe you can simply just... Get it like so! Got the silk pajamas! Looks like this is a dead end, but do you think this, that was the treasure? Let's take it and get out of here! Ah, I got lost! I felt confident with my setup, but I knew if anyone would find openings, it'd be used, Zelda. Huh? Clearly, there's room for improvement, so I'll use this information to make security even tighter. Thanks for helping out, Zelda. Huh? Well, you can keep the silk pajamas you found as a reward for me. 
Aren't they luxurious? They're the pride and joy of our Gerudo artisans. <laughs> I even have a set myself. I'm sure your journey is challenging, so make time to luxuriate and rest where you, where you can. Alright, Donut's challenge is done now. And I did see another quest that we can do all the way at Zora... At the Zora place. So we can go ahead and do that now. You see, yeah, this is a whole other side quest and, and a lot of heart pieces getting type video. So really like no progress at all. Or we actually know. This is where it was. Yes, you're, still, you're the one I need to talk to. Oh, uh, my mom's being weird. She's staring at the pool in our house, talking to herself. Something about monsters. Ah, she's going to feed me to monsters. Well, then we know that's isn't it. Still, I'm sure she's pretty very disappointed with me. I can't sw swim yet. I'm just too scared to even try. Please, you gotta help me. Could you check out my mom? The Zora Child's fate. Oh, wait, where, uh... Oh, you, you're who you, I need to talk to. Huh. I also got wrecked during that whole oh, Lord Jabu Jabu miss. But everyone from here, uh... So we're thinking, uh, where is it? Uh... Oh, in here. Yep. Yeah. Oh my, it's Zelda, right? I've heard that you rescued those who got, cops, got in the rifts. Ah. Maybe you'll help me with the personal matter. Can you bring me some monsters? I'm going to use them for something. Let's see. Uh, first, I need a monster that looks like a sinister f fish. Please put any monster that you bring me in the water here. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you something nice if you can help. I'm free, free, free to do it in your spare time. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what monsters I need, but I'm sure I'll find out. Okay, so we need to use just like a fish. Any fish that we can find. Maybe this one here. Or not. Yep. Oh. Perfect, that's exactly the sinister looking fish monster I wanted. Hang on for a moment. Mm. This was tough enough for the job, but now it's not getting very shiny. Uh. Th th thanks for the monster, it helped me learn more about what I need to know. Now can you bring me a monster that goes boom when anyone goes near it? Please put it in the water here. And uh, it's, it's exactly the one I, I was trying to put in. A oh, bomb fish. That's, those definitely go boom when you get close to them. Now let's see. This wasn't very good enough either. It's not getting it dazzling enough. But it does have a fine shine looking better. Thanks for that monster. At least I'm a, sh a shocking jellyfish monster. Okay, so this beery. Oh. The monster exactly what I had in mind. By the way it floats is pretty. Very, very pretty. It's shifting colors and patterns. Zowie! Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> last I did it. I gotta say it turned out well too. Now to see my son, come with me. Madaka! Mom, I'm, I'm not monster food! What? Oh, Madaka, please just hold out your hand! I'm a scale? It's more polished than using a legendary technique known only to Zara. With a scale, you'll be able to swim! Really? I know you're worried about not being able to swim, so I made you a special charm! You made this for me? I'll give it a try! Yeah! Oh, well, I, I, I can do it! I, I'm swimming! Well then, I always knew you could! Okay, swimming is fun! Thanks, Mom! 
Thanks you for help. I can can't begin to say how much I, this meant to us. I'd like to give you th thank you by giving the same charm I gave to Madaka. Got the Zora scale. It's charming for secret methods. So it enables the water to hold their breath for longer underwater. Awesome. I need to see each of those monsters so I could research ways to polish, polish skills. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, this quest is done now. And that's going to be it for this part, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.